I'm not gonna go further than that. But hello, Russian learners. My name is Fedor. Thank you for listening to this wonderful piece. Not played so wonderfully as I wish it was, but uh, welcome to this channel where I teach Russian. And today I'm going to teach prepositions. In particular, it's going to be v and na. I'm going to talk about their meaning and how we use them. And also, I'm going to teach you guys how to use them in a sentence. So let's get to it. Here we go, guys. Uh, prepositions. We're going to start with the, the preposition v. So every time uh, when you want to say something in Russian, right? And you want to say, um, I went to the store. I am in the classroom. I'm at the event. All those kind of um, sentences will require uh, the use of the prepositions. And today we're gonna talk, we're gonna cover them. So try to implement what you're gonna learn today in your everyday life or in your um, in your everyday Russian learning process. And I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later at the end. But let's go with let's start with the prepositions right now. And the first one is going to be. The preposition v. V is kind of like an equivalent to at, in, and to, and is going to mean is going to be used when you want to talk about that something is in something. Some, uh, something is in another object. Let's say um, my pants are in a drawer, my clothes are in a um, closet, something like that. Also, you're going to use it when you're going to talk about that you are or somebody else is a part of some organization. He is in that, he is in that uh, organization. So that's number two. And also, you're going to use it when you're going to talk about uh, that you're going somewhere, that you're going in the direction of uh, somewhere. Okay? And let's look at the examples. Um, я в школе. Я is I. В школе is in, in school, in school. So v is going to be in in this case, and it's going to go to this usage right here. So you are in something. You are in the school. You are inside the school. All right. Second one is вилки лежат в столе. Вилки is um, forks. Лежат are like uh, are placed. We say лежат uh, лежат means uh, lay. So, uh, forks lay in the, uh, in, in the table. So, it's like not on the table, on the surface, but inside the table. You know how I have this little, little uh, boxes in the table sometimes? So, we use that to express um, that the forks are laying in there. It was kind of hard to um, talk about that to find something, find a good um, example for that, but... Uh, forks are uh, forks lay in the table. So again, it's gonna go to the first usage. It's in something. Okay. Um, let's let's see how we can use in the direction of. Um, let's say I, I want to say ya idu в магазин. I I go. I'm going to the store. Ya idu в ма упс ма га зин я иду в магазин so i i uh, i am going to so в in this case is going to replace to to the store so once again we use the preposition в to replace uh prepositions at in or to okay um so yeah, that's the, the preposition v. Once again, yeah, we use it when we're talking about that something is in something else, in, in another object, in the building, in the classroom, in, uh, in the table, in a drawer, in a closet, that kind of stuff. Secondly, it's when you're talking about that somebody is in some uh, organization, that he is a part of that organization. And then we use uh, this preposition to talk about that we are going in the direction of, we're going to somewhere. All right, and let's now talk. No, 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 no. Let me um, sum it up. V is used when we talk about 
that something is inside of something. Mostly. Uh, the exception would be this one right here. But mostly we're talking about that something is inside of something. If you'd say, I am in school, I am, uh, in English you'd say, I'm at school. But in Russian we're going to say, я в школе. So I am inside of school. I am located inside of school. I am in my room. Я uh, в моей комнате. I am inside my room. So we're going to use the preposition в uh, for that case too. Now let's talk about на, another preposition that will um, describe locations again. This one um, is going to be a little bit different. The preposition на is going to describe that you are on something, that you're on something, okay, mostly. And, uh, okay, then I'm going to talk about the differences between them two. Okay, so this one is going to replace on and at. The first usage is going to be on the surface of, some, of something. Let's say um, this pen is on the table or on the, on the paper. It's located on the surface of the paper, okay? This pen right here is on the surface of this, of this paper. So it's on the surface, na bumagia, on the paper. Somewhere, uh, that you are somewhere but not inside of something. Let's say you're talking about on the street. На улице. На улице. Let me write it down for you guys. На улице. На улице. Then let's say на, на площади. On the square, like a, like, a, like a park kind of thing, right? Square. Uh, well, something like, I guess you can call that a square, yeah. На площади. Then we can say, на um, крыше, on the roof. So when you are somewhere with like open air, you're not inside of something, but you are located somewhere, if that makes sense at all. So, yes. And the last one is going to be at the event. At the event. Uh, that you are on the concert, на концерте, that you are um, at, uh, at the class, meaning you are, um, that you are having a class, uh, на уроке, and those kinds of stuff. All right, let's look at the examples here. Еда лежит на столе. Food, lay, uh, lays again, as I was talking about, is... Um, is on the table. So na is going to be on. This case is going to be pom 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 pom. This one right here. Food is on the table. Еда лежит на столе. And then the second one is я на концерте. I am on or at. I should say at the concert. I am at the concert. And it's going to go boom right here. Because I'm at the event. Correct? So, to sum it up, na is going to be on something, on the surface, or somewhere that is not covered, that is not inside of something. Alright? Um, let's look at the differences between these, th these two guys. V is going to be used when something is somewhere inside of something, with the roof on top or in a closed, in a closed space. In the room, in the drawer, I don't know, in the building, that kind of stuff. But na, oops, na is going to be somewhere, like, without a closed space, if that makes sense. On the roof, there is sky above you, there is no closed space. On the table, nothing is on top of the table, it's just on the table. Alright? Now let's look at the cases and how... Uh, these prepositions are going to change the nouns that are going to be go that are going to go after them. Unfortunately, um, with these prepositions, we don't use nouns in an in infinitive form. We change them. I guess that you learned that like already. The Russians love to change the words and their en endings, prefixes, whatever. We just love to change the words. That's how we operate. I can't do anything with that. So. Um, stick to, to this right here. 
we're gonna have two different changing, two different meanings of the preposition of the. Is where to, um, as I was talking about the direction, right? Um, I go to the store. Where to? Where are you going to? Right? That kind of stuff. And then where, uh, like, where is it located? Where, where is it? And depending on the, um, the meaning, uh, v, the preposition v is going to change the word differently. All right? But it's not going to be that hard, guys. I promise you. It's not going to be that hard. So let's look at this example right here. This one first. Where to? Okay? For masculine, good news is going to be an infinitive. So magazine is a shop, and as you can see, it's still going to be magazine. So words that are masculine, once again, if there is a consonant at the end of it, most likely is going to be masculine. Most likely. There are some exceptions again. Um, so if there's a consonant at the end, it's going to be masculine. We see magazine N is a masculine uh, sound, masculine letter. I mean, not consonant letter, not masculine, consonant. So magazine is going to be masculine. And we don't change it. This stays at the same. The same. But then we have feminine. Feminine, most likely, is going to end on A. All right? A is going to change to U. It's going to change to U. Sometimes these nouns are going to end on Ya. Ya is going to change into U. I hope you can see that. So A changes into U. Ya changes into U. All right? So Mashina. Mashina is a car and it's written like this. Uh, boom, 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 like this. Machina. See this A at the end? We change it into U. В машину. Let's say, I went to the car. Я пошел в машину. Я пошел в машину. Let me write this down for you guys so you can see. Because I know how it is, how, how much better it is to see it visually. Я пошел в машину. I went to the car. So, я пошел в машину, I went to the car. В is going to play a role of the preposition to in this case. Я пошел в машину. As you can see, this one and this one are the same. All right? Once again, the rules are if it's feminine, a changes into u, ya changes into u. And for masculine, it's going to stay the same as an infinitive. It's not going to change. And um, I forgot about neuter gender here. Neuter gender is going to stay the same as well. Then we have where, where, all right? Uh, like where is it located? Uh, and in both cases, you're gonna see yeah at the end. Yeah at the end is gonna be in both cases. The only difference is when it's a consonant at the end, when it's masculine, we're going to add yeah. We're going to add yeah to the end of it. But when it's feminine, we're going to replace a with yeah, or whatever the last um, letter is. We're going to change it into yeah. Of machine yeah. So again, a changes into yeah. The magazine magazine is written like this: a shop. And when we talk about where is it, it's of magazine yeah. Magazine yeah. Let's say milk is in the store, in the shop. Malako of magazine. Malako v magazine. In fact, I'm not going to spend time writing that down. Malako v magazine. All right? And then let's say, my phone is in the car. Moi telefon v machine. V machine. All right? And then we're done with, uh, with this, with uh, v. 
Now let's talk about na. Na is only going to have one meaning is uh, what on. What is it on? Like what? Yeah, what is it on? All right. Uh, oops, I made a mistake. It's not v, it's na. Na. Sorry about that, guys. What is it on? It's on the car. Na machine. And what is it on? Na magazine. So in both cases, we, we see that it's the same as in this one right here. All right? The same rule. A changes into year for feminine, and we add here if it's masculine. All right? Na machine on the car. Na magazine on the store. We don't really say that, but like I just used it as an example. So that's how we change the nouns. Now let's use uh, let's use it in the examples uh, because I believe that there is um, no there is no such waste of time as learning theory, especially in languages, without practical use. To me, it's the biggest waste of time to learn something and not practice it, especially with languages, because it's easy to forget. So let's practice it right now. And also, I suggest you guys do this. Before we, we finish this video, create three sentences with each uh, preposition, v and na. So it's going to be three for v, uh, v and three for na. One, two, three. Ouch. And then Put it in the comments down below or share it with somebody who can check your grammar and the way you write things. I can check it for you if you just put it in the comments down below. I'm going to check it and I'm going to correct you guys. Because I want you guys to improve. I want you to speak Russian. So uh, make your three, sentence, three sentences with V and NA and share it in the comments down below. And I'm going to correct it. I promise you, I'm going to read every single comment and correct every single um, person. Please do that. Please. I want you guys to speak Russian. But let me just uh, give you guys one example for each pronoun, not pro for each preposition that I would like to use. Um, uh, I'm going to use this one. Я... Uh, я в комнате. I'm in the room. Я в комнате. Я в комнате. It's a feminine word because комната is an infinitive. Комната, and we see that there is a at the end. So we change it into е. All right? Change it, change it into е. And we're going to get я в комнате. I'm in the room. And for now, I'm going to use this uh, example that I use a lot. Я на корте. Корт is a court. Tennis court, golf court, whatever. And we just add я yeah to it. And we get я на корте. Я на корте. Alright guys, so that was it. Once again, create three sentences of your choice. Put it in the comments down below and I'm going to check it for you so you can improve, you can get better, because I'm all about that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.